there is a vulnerability in the system that allows for some of these things, these wrong things to happen, because that, that foundation in the law uh, is basically fiction. These stories are important because we live in a country that has a higher incarceration rate than any place in the world. There are more prisons in this country than, than degree colleges. Mass incarceration is one of the great problems of our time and is the legacy of slavery and something needs to be done about it. The system's broken. No, it's working exactly the way they want it to. It's dark. It comes with the territory. It was an opportunity through this incredibly heroic underdog character to explore our criminal justice system, legal reforms, our prison system, and get at it in a way through an entertainment engine that would be incredibly compelling for the audience and also be something that could elicit contemplation about, you know, what are we doing in, in our society? Ma'am, I gotta say, these reforms, all these changes, it's all going too quick for anybody to keep up with. Even though you have hard issues, if you never actually discuss it, if you never talk about it, they can never go away. So I think having the conversation is the first step to finding ways to deal with these issues. It is not unrealistic to foresee a future in which the number of New York State prisons could be reduced by up to 35%. It's maybe even more important that we have this conversation through characters who are real and viable and based on real people, so you can't even argue that it's just a TV show. Whereas because it really is um, inspired by Isaac Wright's life experience, you're immediately sort of gobsmacked by it. Like the case of Isaac Wright, given life for being a drug kingpin. What I was charged and convicted with was something that's, that's very, very serious. And so it's difficult uh, for a person to, to hear it and understand how something like that could possibly happen. You know, the question always becomes, there had to have been something going on for law enforcement to, to target you and to accuse you of this serious crime and to actually send you to prison for it. It's a really great way for audiences to access the truth, in a way. But there's no question the system's broken for anybody who doesn't have power or money. Overcharging people who can't afford a lawyer, then force them into a plea? It's an epidemic in this country. And make many more people realize this is what's going on. This is our justice system. We ruin people's lives. How many lives, Glenn, while we were doing our job? There are a lot of stories like Isaac's, unfortunately, more than there should be. This show can shine a light on that. If we can raise people's awareness, then everybody wins. A show like this puts a human face on something that just becomes numbers to people who aren't directly affected by the prison system. But when you see one case and you, you see the face and you see the family affected and you can really feel it and that makes it impossible to ignore. I hope the audiences feel a sense of responsibility to the American justice system at large. It says that it only works if we work it. And allows them to make decisions on what they're gonna do when they go to the voting booth uh, what they're going to do when they call up their legislator, what they're going to do when they sit on the jury. The next time they get that jury duty summons in the mail, when they sit and they listen to this case, they take that responsibility seriously. And they realize that somebody's little life is on the line and that we all have to actively participate in getting it right. How are you here? Hard work and goodwill. What's your method?